If you're teaching mathematics in California, uh, you know that things are going to get a little complicated and different this fall. Assembly Bill 705 has changed things so that we can't have any required prerequisites on our transfer level math classes, mostly college algebra and statistics. We can't use placement testing to tell students that they need to take a course before those courses and we have one year to get students through a transfer level course, college algebra or statistics. So it looks like this for the one year. Here's statistics. We can put a course on the front of it and get students ready for that. Or in some cases, what people are doing is adding on a little co-requisite to the statistics course itself. At XYZ Textbooks, we have two solutions for that. One is for the full course leading into statistics, we have Stat Prep, a bridge to statistics by Alan Tussey and his two new co-authors, Esme and Mona. And then we also have a short booklet co-requisite for statistics to add on to the class as a just-in-time approach to get students ready for whatever topic they're going to cover in statistics. So which is the better uh, choice for those two things as far as I'm concerned? This one right here. The stat prep, a bridge to statistics, that's the one that you want to put on the front of the course. It guarantees that your students in statistics will be really well prepared and great statistics students. But if you're not going to do that, I recommend that you use this, that, uh, the co-requisite for statistics, the booklet that we also publish, because it has all the things that are necessary for students to uh, get up to speed. So things are going to be a little different in California in the fall, but at XYZ Textbooks, we do have two solutions for you. We have the big course to add on to the front of your statistics course, and we also have the co-requisite for statistics that you can add on as a just-in-time course. Like I said, I think this is the best solution if you really want to have good students in statistics. But if you're not going to do this, I think that's a, a reasonable solution also. So I want to wish all my colleagues in California really good luck this fall with your statistics courses. It's going to be interesting to see what happens.